Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. So today we're gonna harvest some vegetables. I figured I would bring y'all along. I had started harvesting before I thought it is Wednesday, it is a video day. <laughs> So, this was where I started with these green beans. They were from the trellis that the beetles had gotten to. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all that. Uh, but they're still giving me beans, small beans. Maybe I just picked them early. Who knows, who cares? <laughs> it's beans and they're gonna taste good. But let me show you that trellis because it is starting to grow. Um, and so that's a good thing considering I'm messing with my Zoom because I thought it was too close, but it's not. Oh, also, I cleaned up the spot over by the compost pile. Now I have to get that to the trash. <laughs> the beetles had started their journey on these plants. You can see it right there, all of the little holes. But this plant, well, these plants, are still growing not very full on the trellis down here they all seem to get right there and just stop but i'm getting beans off of it so that's the, that's the point <laughs> so my neighbor's dog apparently something's going on <laughs> he uh he's barking i do apologize for his barking but it is uh i don't know maybe seven ish and i wanted to come out here and get all of these vegetables so we're gonna do it together the first place we're gonna start is the tomatoes on these really sad looking tomato plants i still have tomatoes growing so right here we have a blushing one how pretty that's a great white looks yellow like i always say but it's a great white we should grab our basket we got one egg tonight so we all know i used to be sponsored by um hen up um, and so it was only for a little under a year anyway that was the contract i signed my chickens are not laying the same I tried to go back to the chicken food that I get from Tractor Supply, but they are not laying the same. So, chances are I'm going to start ordering hen up again. Um, and I'm not sponsored by them anymore. So, I'm telling you that because you may want to try it if you have chickens because I'm pretty sure I'm going back to it. But, here goes another tomato that is ripened. And we're going to go ahead and take her to... There's a few ripened tomatoes. Let's see. These don't look the best. Not sure what they are, but they don't look the best. Still gonna take them. Oh, they're Dr. Weiches. But pretty tomato, right? But they don't look the best. <laughs> they resemble the plants. <laughs> so let's see what else is blushing out here. What else is ready to go? Oh, we got a few cherry tomatoes. It's been a horrible cherry tomato year. These are I think these are uh, sun goals. I'm eating them because no point in taking them in the house. It has been a bad cherry tomato year, but the ones that are growing, they are delicious, y'all. Here's a few more. These are um, peach, the sun peach variety. I'm gonna take those. We'll be eating them as a garden snack as we harvest things tonight. Okay. Let's move on to the other tomato plants that look like dying trees. <laughs> There's one right here. Yep. Hey girls. The girls are over here trying to see what I'm doing. <laughs> hey y'all. But do y'all see? They're in like, they're in a group. No one's fighting, no one's doing anything. They're in a group. The babies have gotten much bigger. Let's just go inside so we can look at them. <laughs> well, the babies have gotten much bigger and the girls here aren't as angry with them anymore. They do keep getting on the top of the enclosure. And so we clipped their wings already, but they're still able to get up there. So we need to clip their wings again. Bye. I'll see you later. She's not scared of anything most of the time. She's just like out here. Please don't pack me. Do not pack. No pecky peck. That's all they do. By the way, my quail have not started laying yet. Um, it may be the breed that I got. I'm not sure because my first set of quail would have been laying by now. 
but I'm gonna give them their time. My son has been saying like, where's the quail meat? And I'm like, dude, the quail have to lay and we have to hatch him. He really likes quail. So the beans on this trellis have been doing amazing. Um, this, these beans have been out here since the beginning of the season when I first planted out. Um, but they're doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure y'all can see the trellis. I was like, wait, they can't see it. <laughs> so we will go ahead and harvest um, those beans too. It is a beautiful, dyke tonight like it's like in the 80s we've been having some really like nice weather and i was so happy um like that it was cooling down because we were like close to a hundred like 99 the last day it was super hot and so my plants are happy about that <laughs> that a long bean I like these beans <laughs> they're just cool to grow I wouldn't say it's like the best tasting bean but they are cool to grow um, and this trellis has a mix of green and purple the green are on this side the purple are on that side and they came together and they met and they made beans <laughs> there's more on here so I'm gonna take my time and harvest them They blend in, they blend in with the trellis sometimes so you can't really see them. And so the purple ones are purple potted pole beans. When you cook them, they turn green, but they're pretty in the garden when they are growing. Purple potted pole beans, I absolutely love them. Okay, so we put, picked all of the uh, green beans from here. Oh, look, they just blend in. I thought we picked them all. All right, that's all of them. We have some more tomatoes to pick. So before we move on from the beans, I wanted to remind everybody, pick your beans often. It tells the plant to give you more. <laughs> so we have some tomatoes over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick. These are a paste. Um, I believe the, uh, what is this? Ace 55, these are Ace 55 paste tomatoes and they are ripening on the vine. They are a determinant tomato. By the way, Look at the grasshopper just hanging out. Y'all see him? And yes, he may eat a plant or two, but it's it's uh, it's nature. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna let him stay there. And, and I hope he gets a good meal off of whatever he eats. <laughs> I just saw another bean that I missed. They really do blend in, y'all. They really do. I'm gonna grab it. They really do blend in. <laughs> There's another one. It's tiny, but it's a tomato and it can go into sauce well. There's some blushing ones on here too. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them as well. They're small now. In all honesty, have not fertilized and I don't know how long. <laughs> so if I fertilize, they probably would be bigger, but I haven't fertilized and I don't know how long. That's another paste tomato. That's one that was blushing, so we're gonna take her. Because if I'm honest, I'm probably gonna pull these tomato plants soon. Not the new ones, by the way, let me show you those. So these are out of the compost pile. This one and this one is out of the compost pile. And so they're growing, doing well. Let me show you the other ones that we planted before we planted those. Those are the other ones. Going right up the trellis for some perspective. They are growing and if you remember, they were in the compost pile pretty small and we have flowers on them too. So I won't be pulling those, but the ones that have been here like most of the season, I'm probably gonna pull them within the next two weeks. Like that one, which is just a stem with some leaves at the top. <laughs> so, oh, but look, tomatoes are growing and flowers. Here's the thing, once they like 
get heavy it's probably gonna break this anyway so someone had mentioned I could probably like maybe take bamboo stakes and make my trellis system longer and I may try that for the ones that are still looking good and producing flowers the other ones we're probably just gonna let them go my watermelon plants that are growing no watermelon <laughs> we already knew that was gonna happen though did we look not a watermelon in sight it's okay we still gonna try again next year <laughs> Because I feel like it's too late now if I, you know, I feel like if something were to grow, like if a watermelon were to grow, that it wouldn't mature. I could be wrong, though. I'm not going to pull them or anything. Some beans I missed on this trellis over here. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Look at the um, sweet potatoes. These are the sweet potatoes from the compost pile that was gifted to me from Mother Nature. <laughs> um, so they're growing really well. Really, really well. This is the sucker that died but most of the tomatoes did but look that's the sucker that we put in these are clearly a paste tomato and they are ripening so I'm gonna go ahead and take them because when I pull the rest of the tomatoes I pull this one too I got pockets on this dress because <laughs> I left my basket y'all <laughs> and that's another one but Oh, honesty, it still has this little piece right here because it did branch out to two, but that's also dying. So once that one, if it grows anymore or ripens, I'll grab it. Uh, here's some more. And this one had cut all the way down because it was dying and I left these to ripen and they are ripening again. They do not look the best, <laughs> but I'll take it. Oh, that one failed. <laughs> Not a bad harvest already, and we still have more. Still have more to grab. Oh, there was a little one over here on another plant that's dying. <laughs> so we'll take it. I think it's a black beauty. It is. It's a black beauty. I keep saying I really thought those were going to be a little bit blacker, but it's cool. Still edible. I just thought it would be blacker and prettier. Found another bean. <laughs> We have a few onions. They're small, but they have fallen over, so we'll go ahead and take those. Probably gonna make some onion powder. My green onion powder that I made, it's almost gone when I made it from the tops of the uh, onions. It's almost gone, so I'm definitely gonna make some onion powder. Probably in a video sometime next week. But yeah, um, the smaller ones, that's probably what I'm gonna do. There goes one right there. Probably gonna go ahead and pull all the onions um, because I'm gonna start some more when we start seeds sometime this week, maybe the weekend, and it'll post next week sometime. But yeah, decent sized onions, I think. Way I'm living my life these days in the garden is it doesn't have to be the biggest if it's the harvest. <laughs> Do y'all remember? I kept telling you about this tiny, uh, what is this? Melon plant? I don't even know what kind of melon it is now. And it was struggling. And I may not get a melon from it, but I'm letting it live. <laughs> so we have a lot of cucumbers. Um, they're not all ready to be harvested, but we do have a good amount of cucumbers out here that's still growing and I was definitely expecting them not to taste well but they still taste pretty good so I'm still picking them I'm gonna make some pickles out of these too um, that's my plan I went and got my vinegar to make sure I had enough of everything because this weekend well at least Saturday I'm planning to do some preserving I have to leave out of town for work Sunday it's my last work trip this year though. <laughs> I'm not going on any more. I'm not going on any more trips. So yeah, these I'm gonna leave. But cucumbers are just like beans. The more you pick, the more they're gonna grow because the plant is gonna say, I need to produce seeds. And so um, I probably got a day, maybe two days on these, and then I'll come back and grab them. And I can pick them where they are now. I just want them to be a little bit bigger. So let's move on to the peppers. Um, and so we have a few in the bed that are producing peppers. 
this is actually a jalapeno and because i'm not paying attention to the peppers over here in these beds because they're not doing well that one has already turned red so that's going to be super hot and you see it's got the stripes on it yeah that's going to be hot y'all <laughs> and there's another one over on the other side like i said not paying attention to them much because I have the peppers in the bags but these jalapenos are still producing <laughs> like one good pepper at a time but look at that that's gonna be hot you know what i wish and i could if i wanted to but i'm just not doing it tonight i don't feel like it i wish i could get up there and get some sunflowers for in the house they are beautiful but they're so high up in the sky <laughs> so we got us two jalapenos off of those plants I didn't have any bags for them when I was moving them. Plus, at this point, yeah, we're going to put them over here. At this point, I don't really feel like dealing with moving any more plants again. So let's go ahead and harvest the peppers that are in the bags. We have a few. Um, I came out the other day because I wanted shishito peppers so bad, and I harvest all the shishito peppers that were ready. So we don't have any shishito peppers, but we have other peppers that are ready to go. We have some cayenne long right here. They're not very big, but they're, they are ripened and ready to go. There's a few right there. And then over here, we have a Jimmy Nardello. It's kind of small, but it's ripe. So we're gonna take that another Cayenne long here. Grab that one too. Someone asked about the carrots in the bag a little while ago in one of my comments. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all that. Um, I've harvested out of those the dog a couple of times. A um, few times actually. So I'm going to show you. I might pull one just so you can see. They are growing. It's also the way that I will always, always, always grow my carrots. It's, it's the only way I've had success. <laughs> So right here, you can see right there, they are growing. Let's move that leaf in here. Probably not super sweet, but they are growing. That one was growing oddly, but yeah, look at that, a carrot. Let me see, the rest of them look kind of small, but let's grow, let's pull it. Yeah, baby carrot, it'll work. There's one right here. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, look at that. Very nice one right there. Let's just harvest the bag and see what we have. It's about time to plant them again, so. Yeah. Nice enough. <laughs> Let's see, these were very close, so I don't know how nice they're gonna be. Yeah. Definitely can work in a dish. I kinda need this bag anyway. Oh. Let's just do a handful and see what happens. Okay, yeah, works in a dish, but those were what was left. I've absolutely harvested bigger carrots. My dad came over one day, wanted stuff for a salad, and so I harvested some for him. But now that bag is empty, and we will be using it for potatoes, because if you remember in my last video, I said I was going to start planting potatoes um, this week. Next thing we have here are some banana peppers. Yumsville. I just broke that plant. I know I did. Maybe not the whole thing, but a nice banana pepper. A few banana peppers, and I probably could let some of them stay, but they're a nice size. I'm gonna go ahead and take them. Yep, nice. I'm gonna take this one and then the one on the other side. The rest, I let them grow a bit more. Nice though. So this is supposed to be an orange lunchbox. That's what it's labeled as. It's clearly not orange. It is red. It was never orange. So I clearly labeled that wrong, but we'll take it. <laughs> Over here we have some habanadas that have ripened. I love these. They taste really good, y'all. If you haven't tried it, I think I told y'all that they are delicious. So there's a few more that's ripening, but we're gonna let them 
gonna let them stay. Oh, look at that shishito pepper. I didn't even notice it when I picked it the other day. Oh, there's a few more that can go. We got a few jalapenos here ready to go. They were striping. They were probably about to start turning red. This plant is being overtaken by this uh, cayenne long. So it's not that big, but it is producing peppers. Pretty sure I, pretty sure I broke that plant too. Yep, I did. I'm fortunate, y'all. I'm fortunate. <laughs> I really should go oh, look that's a mess <laughs> I really should bring my snips but I never really remember them so that can go <laughs> it's all right there's some more back here there's another one and one right here nice very nice jalapeno harvest found another cayenne long but it's got some it was it, it was rotting probably i'm gonna give it to the chickens uh they can eat it chickens fun fact <laughs> do not have taste buds i don't think is what it is so they can't taste the heat of this pepper so i'm gonna go ahead and give that to them hey girls i got a treat for you go treat for you all right let's see what else is out here we could definitely oh Look, look at the sweet potato that's coming all the way from over the other side. Let's, let's put that back. Oh, we can't really put it back. I just let it grow up the trellis. Just slide it in there because it was like just hanging out. Look at the sweet potatoes though. Like my main patch. It's huge. It is huge. So, by the way, Vigo Garden Bed, they are having a sale. I will put a link below. I think it's 5% maybe, even 10%, but I'll put a link below if you're interested in one of their beds. So people were wondering the last time, like when I first put them in, if they would like burn up the plants. I am not seeing that at all. My plants love it. And they're like, they don't look long, but I've been throwing them back. See like right here, I've just been throwing them back into the bed so that they don't like sprawl everywhere. But yeah, if you're interested in a Vigo garden bed, I'll put a link down below for you. As always, we're gonna go ahead and harvest this calendula because we want more to grow. This calendula plant right here has been amazing all year long. Um, and I've just been saving calendula and I'm gonna try tea this year, I promise. Y'all know I get nervous about trying to use medicinals, but definitely keep growing them. <laughs> but I'm gonna try this this year, I promise. I'm gonna try calendula tea. Eventually though, I'm gonna start letting them dry because I do want to save the seeds. I don't wanna buy any more calendula seeds. I feel like I've had enough grow that um, I shouldn't have to buy calendula seeds. And y'all know I'm trying to get better with um, you know, seed saving. By the way, one of the tomatoes um, that came out of the compost pile. Still growing, looking good. This is the other one, having a harder time starting, but it's looking decent too. We have little tiny dahlias popping up everywhere. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. I'm probably gonna cut it and take it in the house because I do want some flowers in the house. Um, I gotta do better with my flowers next year. Last year I did so good with my flowers. I had flowers in the house all summer long. But this year I didn't do so well starting them. <laughs> and so I just have to do better next year. It's cool. I got good, good tomato harvest this year. So flowers I did not get, tomatoes I did. <laughs> Look at that pretty one. It's beautiful. That's a dahlia too. And here's another one. Just beautiful. If you haven't grown dahlias, you should. They're a pretty, pretty plant. The only zinnias I got this year was these, and I do not like them. <laughs> I don't know which ones they are. I can't remember. I like the zinnias that's much more fluffier. So next year I'll make sure I do that right. So really quick. I don't know <laughs> if these potatoes die from not being watered because of course they're over by the greenhouse. OMG, 
What in the whole entire world, y'all? <sighs> I really think this was my dog. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I got to patch that up. But I think that was my dog. She was over here the other day. <laughs> that is unfortunate. I got to patch that up. Also, just so y'all know, I ain't keep up with nothing that was over here. And it died. <laughs> this was, uh, what was this? This was Lovage, Plantain, and Nettle. Now, I do believe that both of them are perennial, so they'll probably come back next year, I hope. <laughs> but I ain't take care of them because they was over here and I did not water them. So, let's see. The potatoes. Also over here that didn't get watered. But look, some calendula popped up in here. I'm going to move that. But we are going to see if these tomatoes indeed died from not being watered <laughs> um, or if they are ready to be harvested. We're about to find out tonight, y'all. <laughs> Full transparency. I think it came from not being watered, but let's see. It's a very tiny one. and It's also gross. <laughs> yeah. They, they look awful. I'm going to just throw them back in there. And look, they were trying to grow. They weren't taken care of. Oh, wow. It looks gross. Not keeping it because, like, it's got, it's been being eaten. But it was growing. That would have been a nice tomato had I taken care of it. Potato. Yep, there goes another one. But they just, they've been eaten or they're rotting or I'm not really sure what it is, but they look bad. Oh yeah, they were growing though. I probably pulled like seven or eight out of here now. But we're just going to put them back because they may sprout again. Yep, yeah, there goes another one. Nice size one too. Unfortunate. We are going to take these calendula and put them somewhere in the bed today. I've, I've been known they were in here. I just didn't pull them, but they volunteered. We're going to move them. Okay, so it's pretty much time to plant some potatoes again. So we're going to leave those. Maybe they'll sprout again. Maybe I'll take care of them better. Maybe I won't. <laughs> so if you remember, there's an open spot in between these miniature marigolds. We're just going to throw these calendula in here. Mix them in. And yes, I am probably ruining my nails right now. But that happens when you're gardening because it's like, it's just awesome. And you just want to see what you got. So yeah, I get my nails done once a month. We are in a new month. <laughs> I need to water the garden anyway, so I'm gonna water those in when I water the garden this evening. Not too shabby from the backyard garden, right? <laughs> I'm excited, it's July and we still getting a decent harvest, y'all. So I'm very, very excited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.